everybody. I'm Elettra. And I am Ekaterina. I'm Maddalena. And I'm Matilda. We are Italian students from Modena. We are 18 and we attend the Liceo Muratori San Carlo. We are going to talk about uh, our uh, personal experiences. Last year we decided we wanted to be exchange students in the United States. We left in summer 2019. I went to Arizona and she went to Las Vegas. Uh, we really enjoyed our stay. We were supposed to spend 10 months there, but COVID-19 unfortunately also affected our own experiences. In fact, uh, we decided that it was safer for us to come back early. So in April, we left the United States without even saying goodbye to all of our friends to come back to Italy. And we decided it was better to leave also because there were rumors of airports closing down soon. This year, a uh, few exchange students were able to leave. In fact, many uh, exchange programs were cancelled. On the other hand, the two of us were at school and uh, we were supposed to go to Paris and Germany with our classmates, but because of Covid, uh, all the school trips uh, were cancelled. Since we study English, German and French at school, the exposure to those specific languages is crucial. Therefore, we were all very disappointed because that's really the one chance you get to really dive into the culture and the language of the country you're visiting. Coronavirus has represented one of the biggest crises for the tourism industry of all times. In fact, while many people choose to stay home instead of traveling, four major airlines have already declared bankruptcy and the ones that didn't still reduce the number of flights to 25%, with a total lost revenue for airlines in 2020 of 250 billion US dollars. But the real question here is, how long will the travel industry survive in this harsh situation? In the meantime, we have to follow some restrictions and norms in order to travel safely. For example, on aircrafts, um, there must be an empty middle seat between people in order for them to respect the social distancing. Um, people are requested to wear a mask and to sanitize their hands very often and airlines cut off food and drinks. Airports are encouraging touchless payment methods and some companies decided to stop their flights because filling just the half of the capacity of the aircrafts would not be profitable and environmentally sustainable. As for restaurants, they won't be allowed to offer buffet anymore. Social distancing and wearing masks could uh, work, but many independently owned restaurants and bars uh, will struggle to reopen, while those who survive uh, often become uh, uh, take-up restaurants. Even hotels had to adopt new safety measures, which include increasing cleaning and sanitizing procedures, using phone instead of room keys, reducing lobby interactions and room service, but offer more grab-and-go options instead. The field of home rentals has also been affected by this economical crisis. In fact, every year in Italy, 33.5% of uh, college students decide to move out and to move to different countries or cities to pursue their studies. The percentage of rentable houses has increased by a 149%. The city that was mostly affected is Milan, where the uh, percentage went up to 290%, followed by Bologna, Padua and Florence. The decrease in rented houses has also been determined by the choice of many universities to uh, start uh, online courses to um, limit the displacement of thousands of students. Traveling is not just for fun. Unfortunately, even during a pandemic, there are still people living in dangerous conditions who want to move away from their country and uh, hope for a better life. Some political parties blame immigrants for bringing COVID into their countries and use the pandemic to uh, keep them out. Even though, for example, in Italy, the percentage of uh, uh, infected immigrant is only the 0.4% of people that got infected. We really do hope for the best. Because our future depends on it. Thanks for watching. Bye! And remember to wear a mask! <laughs>